there, have you heard the word decoupage? Maybe you saw something you like, read about it, but you have no idea what it is, but something you might be interested in doing. Well, decoupage merely means adhering fancy papers to objects. The fancy papers I'm going to show you are decorative paper napkins, and the glue I'm going to be using is a decoupage glue called Mod Podge. In this video, I'm going to give you the very basic techniques and very basic supplies, some you might even have. Let's get started. The basic supplies you're going to need is plastic wrap, white acrylic paint, Mod Podge, a couple of napkins, some brushes, a scissor, and some water. So what are we going to decoupage? Rocks. Rocks is where I started. It's a great place to learn different techniques and to try out different products. Plus, it's very cheap. When you've done doing rocks, head over to my channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. I have lots more beginner videos there. So you gather up your rocks. You want to give them a good washing and leave them off to dry. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to give them a couple coats of paint, just white, cheap acrylic paint you may already have. I put mine in little containers like this. Then you want something to put the paint on. You can use a brush, a sponge brush, or a pouncer, whatever it is that you like. Now, before you get started, remember to protect the area you're in, and I like to work on paper plates. Okay, now we're ready to paint the rock. I'm using white ordinary paint. I buy big containers, so I put them into little containers to use. I'm gonna be using a plain regular paintbrush. Um, I'm sure everybody has something like this. Now, when you are putting paint on a rock, rocks are a little uneven. Sometimes they have little holes in them. You just want to make sure that you cover the whole rock and get into all those little spaces. So go all the way around, go around the sides. And then when you're all done, look how nice that looks. You want to put it off to dry because we're going to do a second coat. I put two coats on my rock and it's all dry. And if you want, you can do the rock all the way around. Now, the next thing I wanna do is to pick out a napkin. I want something that fits and I want a background that's white because the white is going to blend into the paint on the rock. So this is the napkin that I chose. It's very pretty and I know it's going to fit onto that rock. Now, to put this little image on, I'm not going to be cutting it. I'm going to be doing what's called a softened or deckled edge. I'm going to show you. Look how pretty that is. It blends right into the rock. And this is really something very easy to do. But first, we have to separate the napkin. Napkins come in two and three ply, but only the top ply is printed, and that's the one that we use. So we have to divide it or take it away from the bottom layers. Just put a little bit of glue on your fingers, press together, and those other back plies are gonna come right off like that. And just gently pull it away. And what you're going to be left with is this beautiful top layer that's nice and sheer. And now we can remove the part that we want. But remember, we're not using a scissor. We don't want it to find edge. We want a softened deckled edge. So take a nice thin paintbrush and you're going to dip it into some water. Once you dip it into water, you're going to start tracing around with the water, the part of the napkin you want to remove. So what's going on? The water is weakening the napkin and you can pull it away. So this is the only part I want. So I'm pulling away the excess parts that I don't want and I'm creating this beautiful deckled edge just like that. And it's going to blend into that rock. So I'm going to continue to go all the way around it. By the way, doing a deckled or softened edge, that's a technique that you're going to use a lot with decoupage. So this is a really great basic technique that I'm teaching you here and you can practice. And remember, finish taking off all the edge. We don't want any straight edges. Okay, my little piece of napkin with the daffodils on is all dry and I'm ready now to put it onto the rock. How I'm going to glue it onto the rock is with Mod Podge, which is a decoupage glue. I buy mine in big containers. You're just starting, you start with little containers you can get at the Dollar Tree. Mod Podge comes in matte, satin, and glossy finish, so it really depends upon what you like to use. Okay, so I'm going to open up my Mod Podge. And remember, you're gonna buy small containers because you're just starting. See, I got big containers, put them into little containers. All right, so now I'm going to put the glue all over the rock. When you're putting the decoupage glue on, you just wanna make sure that there's glue on the rock every place where the napkin is going to be. 
Once the glue is on, you want to work a little bit quickly here. So you want to place your napkin down on the rock the best that you can so it fits. Very gently with your fingers, smooth down the napkin like that. I like to do a second step. What I do now is I take a little bit of glue and then I go all around the edges and I smooth down those little frays, but I don't stop there. I like to make sure that napkin is well adhered and smooth. So I put a piece of saran wrap on top like that and those extra plies, well, that's what I use here to rub down the napkin to make sure it's nice and smooth and that saran wrap is protecting that thin sheer napkin. And now I'm going to pull the plastic very gently away. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. Look how pretty that is. And look at how the edges blend in. It's almost like it's hand painted. Now, I see I have a couple of frays there, but that's okay. I'm just going to go in with the brush and I'm just going to smooth them all down just like that. And of course, we wanna put that off to dry. Okay, I have three rocks that are all done. And now we wanna put on a top coat to protect it. Now, you can go ahead and put a top coat of Mod Podge on it. If it's going to be staying in the house, that's all you're going to need. However, if you wanna put them outside, you wanna use something like Dora Clear, which is more waterproof, and then you can put them in your yard. Now, once you learn how to do these simple techniques, you can move on to doing cans and doing jars. I have lots and lots of beginner videos on my YouTube YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino. Go over there and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you'll get notifications. Share with your friends. Give us a thumbs up. And I'd love for you to join me again.